All right. Not too short time ago, about three or four months ago, probably, we cleaned out an old farmhouse from the 1700s. Uh, the house was built in like the mid 1700s, but a um, lot of stuff, a lot of uh, dirty stuff. It's not always fun to go through some of this stuff, but um, yeah, it, it's it is fun um, to see what kind of treasures you can find. Um, so far. I'll show you a picture of my garage here in a minute, but uh, so far today, I've gotten through about five boxes, and uh, the best thing I've found so far are these Christmas ornaments. You can see those there. So far, that's the best thing. Um, four to six dollars a piece maybe if i put them on ebay um some other things we can put in our store uh as far as christmas ornaments go christmas decorations uh found a bunch of christmas boxes and gift bags and things like that that i'll give my wife she loves to for me to find that kind of stuff uh then she doesn't have to buy it but uh anyway we'll go through some more things here i'll show you a picture of my garage and you can see what all I have here. So I gotta go through the rest of that stuff. Obviously not all today, but uh, we'll work through it. Got another storage unit coming up here in a few weeks that I've been asked to clean out. So and that, uh, with working um, full-time job and uh, also a couple other part-time jobs uh, this is something that takes me a little while but uh, have my kids help me and my dad helps me every once in a while too so we'll get it done all right here are just some of the random things i've pulled out so far of the boxes that i'm going to keep maybe take it to our store or have a yard sale here in a few weeks um as you can see just just random stuff a little tea set light bulbs, a couple Pittsburgh Steeler can cozies. I may keep those. Um, a little trap, a urn of some sort, some office supplies down in that basket, some Pez dis dispensers. Looked those up yesterday and they're not, uh, you know, they're definitely not real old and not really sought after too much, but they'll probably get a few bucks from them on uh, eBay. Like I said, just some random stuff.
was my 14 year old son and my three year old daughter. Just going through another box here. See what we have. See if it's anything we're keeping or selling or, or whatever. Random. Always check bags, see if there's any money on them. You never know. Popcorn machine. See if it works. Hmm. Firefly. Disc four. So we'll see if we can find the other three. Yeah. Hmm. Falling. Oh, down the other shoe. We have to look those up. I don't know anything about fashion. in there. Little CD radio. Got a cord. Let's see if it worked. This one has a cord. Maybe it'll fit in the other one too. We can test both of them. Alright, so I tested both of these stereos and neither of them work, so we're going to throw them away, unfortunately. 
you know, one of the whole points to this is to keep things out of the landfill, but if they don't work, what are you gonna do with it? I don't think there's any parts that could be used or anything like that, so we're just gonna throw them away. I did keep the cord just in case I have another one come up or I, I need one for another one of my stereos or something like that. So we'll just keep that. Better than nothing, I guess. Neat little vintage can. I usually keep these for myself. I believe this is a grill cover. That's what it looks like anyway. spacers for installing a, lam a laminate floor. Price tag. Big old thumbtacks. Looks like a really old craftsman screwdriver. We'll plug it in and charge it and see if it works. 